Our vision really for the visitor experience at the pavilion is one that's relevant, that's engaging, and that is transformative. So in some ways, it's a huge opportunity for Ireland to present itself to the world, demonstrating creativity through a number of different art forms. But what we're really interested in is what can we do to demonstrate to Japanese visitors how that creativity permeates all aspects of what we do in Ireland. What's unique about us, how we bring that through our arts, through our culture, through technology, through science, and give people a little bit of a taster of how we're performing in the world and how we're reaching out globally with what we're doing. In terms of success at Expo, success for me is that we have a wonderful pavilion that people enjoy and that they come out of that pavilion knowing more about Ireland than they did going into it and that they're inspired to learn even more about us as a country. Ireland's pavilion is inspired by the Celtic triple knot or triskelet. The triskelet is a form which is used since Neolithic times in Irish craft. The design of the pavilion in Osaka emerged almost on the first day that we visited the site. I think what was really interesting about the site was it was very distinctive, it was very clear within the expo site and very highly visible. It's contextual in that the interlacing curves of the building resonate with the overall curves of the grand ring that encircles the expo site. Also, the different levels that are created by the intersecting forms of the building create roof terraces that are accessible to visitors. This allows opportunities to create visual connections between the people on the roof terrace, the people on the Grand Ring and then views down towards the public plaza to the south of the building. In terms of the expression of the pavilion, it's very much about timber because we see timber as a traditional craft in Ireland and there's a synergy also with the idea of Japanese craft. Irish grown Douglas fir, which is an evergreen conifer tree species, is being used to clad the outside of Ireland's National Pavilion at Expo 25. We saw the opportunity to be involved in this pavilion project as a wonderful opportunity to promote the use of Irish wood against the backdrop of a theme, Creativity Connects People. Ireland is performing um, globally both in life sciences but also in terms of how we bring our arts and culture together and it's at that boundary often of arts and science that you get the really rich creative ideas coming forward where technology meets inspiration and we're hoping that people get a sense of that within the pavilion. This is quite exciting for us and this year we're particularly privileged and indeed proud as we all head off to Osaka in Japan 2025. I'm working on some music for the pavilion, some music for the third room or third part of that pavilion. What I'd love to try and achieve with the music is to intrigue people as to where it came from and uh, to draw on some of the elements that I find fascinating within traditional Irish music. It's exciting for us to be working on a project for uh, Ireland at World Expo as a small studio in rural Ireland. Magnus Rin will be the first monumental sculpture which we will complete for the outdoors. The background of my studio is a craft studio, but trying to push the ambition of that craft into the 21st century and push the mastery, kind of meeting the science of the material to realize something on a scale and ambition that has not been possible before now. What we bring to a conversation globally isn't necessarily huge scale in terms of numbers, but what it is is it's genuine, heartfelt, real, true engagement that's really led by the people who care deeply about what it is that they want to do.